Hello, this is Lauren Broom, your instructor with Space Coast Pool School. And today we're going to learn how to calculate rate point chlorination. Rate point chlorination is used as one method of removing high chloramine or combined chlorine problem. You know you'll have a high combined chlorine or chloramine problem when you have a chlorine-like smell in your pool area that is causing people with lung issues or COPD or anything like that with breathing issues while they're swimming. So this is a method of adding a certain amount of chlorine to be able to break apart your combined chlorine or chloramine issue from the contaminants that it's combined with so that it's free again to remove that chlorine smell. So specifically what we need to do here is calculate step one, two, and three, so we can put that in our box number three for change or adjustment. So let's do step number one first. So step number one says to take the total chlorine. But before we do that, let's go ahead and read our problem. How much calcium hypochlorite is needed to break point chlorinate a 55,000 gallon pool? with a free chlorine of 1.5 parts per million and a total of chlorine of 2.3 parts per million. So they give us the free chlorine on the problem of 1.5. So let's, and then our total chlorine is 2.3. So we're going to fill in our problem. First line is going to be the total chlorine of 2.3. Then we're going to subtract our free chlorine of 1.5 and then we're going to put that answer on the line down here 0 0.8 that's our combined chlorine number there that's our cc cc in step two comes from the end of step one so we just fill in what we got in step one there we multiply that by 10 0 0.8 times 10 on your calculator will give you 8 there for bpc at the end of step two you bring that number down and write it here on the line for BPC minus your free chlorine or FC, which is 1.5, write that on the line there. Then eight minus 1.5 will give you 6.5 here. You see there's an arrow and it says to put that 6.5 right here in your worksheet. Now we do this problem in the worksheet just like we do with a chemical adjustment where we don't have a product label. I provided the chemical dosage chart down below right here. So box number one will come from here. What chemical are we using in the problem? You've got to go back and look. We're using calcium hypochlorite. So you got to find calcium hypochlorite here on your chemical dosage chart. And this is going to be your box number one. So 2.0 ounces goes right here. Box number two is our volume. We have a 55,000 gallon pool. So that goes right there. Now we take 55,000 and divide it by 10,000 and put the answer here, which is 5.5. Now you take your 6.5 divided by one because it's already written in the worksheet for you. So 6.5 divided by 1 will give you the answer here of 6.5. So now you're going to take everything across the bottom and put your answer here. And if you do that, you'll get 71.5 ounces. As you notice on the bottom, I've got our conversions down here. This is in ounces, not in fluid ounces. So you want to use this conversion right here. Ounces divided by 16. So take 71.5 divided by 16. And you should get 4.5 pounds. And that's how many pounds of calcium hypochlorite it will take 
to breakpoint chlorinate this 55,000 gallon pool to get rid of that chlorine smell because of the high combined chlorine or chlorine amount.